Is no contact really the best way to go when you're breaking up with somebody? Let's talk about it. I just got out of a year long relationship and we broke up probably 10 times in that 12 month duration of time. And every single time that we would break up, I would try to go no contact. I only really did it successfully a couple times and it lasted at its max 10 days. That 10 days was towards the end of our relationship and it was absolutely excruciating. I was so depressed. I was withdrawing from the highs and lows, the hits of dopamine that his inconsistent communication would give me. And it was miserable. And so his birthday was around the corner on the 10th day of our no contact. And I justified it in my mind that I could reach out and say happy birthday. Many of my close friends were telling me not to do it, that I needed to sit, stay strong. And honestly, I had a lot of guilt and shame about the fact that I broke the no contact and reached out to him. Me reaching out and talking to him actually led to us kind of getting back together for another month, like maybe five weeks. And that last five weeks, that was the final straw. And those were exactly what I needed to finally break the spell he had on me. See, all the times before, I would feel so frustrated that I couldn't break the spell. That's what I looked at it as. And anyone who's in a relationship with a toxic person understands what I'm talking about. You love them and you hate them. You so bad want to get out of this, the relationship, but you just know you can't. For some reason, you can't get out of it, which I might add, is a total sign to you that it's a toxic relationship. If you want so bad to get out, but you can't, it's toxic. But don't shame yourself and don't try to break up by anybody else's guidebook or rule book because only you know what you need to do. I know for a fact that I had to stay in that relationship with him far longer than was healthy. And I know that I was done with it months and months before it finally ended, but I had to see it through because all the other times I tried to break up before and all the other times I tried to go no, no contact, I couldn't break the spell. I needed to stay in that relationship and get hurt over and over again until I finally got to the point where I snapped and I could not do it anymore. I heard somebody say on here a couple weeks ago that Honey, he just hasn't hurt you enough yet. And that is such a thing. Like, I don't want you, love bug, to have to go through all the hurt that I had to go through. I don't want you to have to drag this out and suffer. But sometimes that's what it takes to break the addiction. I feel so much freer and happier and so much relief that it's over. Take as long as you need. Go through your own personal process and go easy on yourself as you do it.